Okay. Your husband's not so excited anymore. He used to be f all the way over here telling me about how something looks like chicken gravy. No, no, now no, he's I, like, I, oh. Many questions he's asking me to ask, which is illogical, and I'm thinking uh, what to ask, what not to ask, oh. what to ask, how to ask. <laughs> because I don't know when to ask. We're gonna miss you guys. Yeah. Nice to see you all. There, uh, there's going to so many other places already too. You guys have been to more places in California than any of us have. <laughs> I feel like there's a piece maybe right here too. Person, dab that again on top. Thank you. I see him. Yeah, maybe he was inflamed or I injected it. You okay now? I'm gonna tug on you. Remember, it just makes that tugging feeling. What is that? Like that. He's okay? She's okay? It's okay. A little pinch? Yeah. Sorry. It's a, it's a little baby came out. Mm -hmm. But I think there's still a little... Maybe that one broke open or there's two of them here or something. But it's... This one looks like it got... It's irritated me. A little more numbing. So the first time it was difficult. Mm -hmm. The second time it wasn't very difficult. Mm -hmm. This first one is kind of being difficult to us to begin with. This one looks like it may be popped or something. And then there's like a little piece up front. This is I'm not I'm not representing myself well this time. And I think we have it all. I think. At least I feel like. Turn towards me here. See this? Underneath here, I see something there still. Do you see that? Like a. See how it's like in pieces? Like all these little pieces of calcium deposit, which is the cyst, like it's in pieces here. Is it okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, it's, I think this one was broken open and it's like, it's calcified a little. So there's little rocks almost like, um, like yeah. calcium deposits on it, which is normal, but, and it can happen. So maybe that's what's causing the irritation there. I just want to clean it all out. But it just looks like it's all messy in there. What is a dialect that you speak? Taman. Taman. Taman? Taman, yeah. Say that one more time, slower. Taman? Just Taman? Nothing? T-A-M-I-L. Oh. See, I see more. See, look at that. There's still something under there. So I don't want that to come back. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Somebody that's going to listen to this is going to know how to speak tam tamal and they're going to tell me what you're saying. T A M L. T A M L. Tamil. Tamil. If you Google it, Google will say that's the oldest surviving language. Ah. The oldest surviving. The oldest surviving language. Unlike Latin, Greek, or uh, Roman. Ah. How many different dialects do you speak? Many? Like my parents, like they, you know, my mom speaks seven different, like, oh, my Asian dialects. Yeah. In a lot of the Asian countries, it's necessary to know multiple dialects like yeah. that. This is the one that I just think has more trouble in terms of it maybe getting inflamed mm -hmm. because it was like broken up, I think, a little bit. But you've done really well in the past, so I have faith that you're going to do just great this I'll time, too. The, uh, time off to the right, but not okay, mm -hmm. so we'll move to the next one. Remember the first time you came here, you really were like, it was, it was a little scary, probably. Yeah. But you, but she was, she's the boss. She knows she was coming here because she watched a lot of these. Right. So she felt comfortable. But uh, now it's the last one. Like I said, we're feeling a little sad. Did I already use my book? Or did I not? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't remember now. Watch out. There's a blade there. 
you see it on there? I did use it. I probably did use it, yeah. Is that it there? This one is probably the bigger one of all of them. He looks really cute. What is your son? Hmm? Oh, sorry. This one came out all cute. Almost, almost got them all out. He's just too big for me to pick up with my, with my pickups here. It looks like a an alien. This one looks like, there's a movie. What is that? Is that the movie? The Sigourney Weaver? The uh -huh. Alien? Yeah. I'm going to show you that one. It looks like the Alien. Did you ever watch that movie? I don't know if you guys ever watched that movie. Yeah, we have. Yeah. You have, because it's like a scary movie, too. You like those scary movies. It's a classic. <laughs> have you seen that one? I think, oh, I think I talked to you about this, but I don't know who it is. It's the guy with the white mask. Maybe it's a ski mask or something. I don't know who that is, if it's Saw or whatnot, but there's a guy on TikTok that just sits there and then he drives in a car and then he pulls up next to people and he just goes like this. Is it Jason? I guess, I think it's probably Jason, right? The one with the ski mask. Yeah. He pretends to be Jason. Like the hockey mask, right? I like think so. It's some kind of mask, yeah. or white mask. I think it's a hockey mask. And people freak out yeah. when they see him. Thank God he doesn't pull up next to me. So how was it the next night? Is it pretty sore or is it okay? Kind of sore? Not too bad? Probably in some places it's worse, right? Because you have to lean against it. Maybe up here it does not so bad because you don't have to lean against it when you sleep. I think that would be the hardest. That one. Next one. Three? Number three here? What does your son say? Does he notice less bumps on your head? Yeah, he said uh, so. Is he gonna is he gonna wanna be a doctor? No. No? He wants to, he wants to be a businessman. A salesman? No, businessman. Businessman. See, That's the thing to do. Uh, as you know in uh, Asia it's still uh, the, uh, the father and grandfather earns for the grandchildren, not for themselves. Yep. They don't spend for themselves. Right, right. Of course. So we have seen, uh, even if they do business, uh, uh, MIT, Massachusetts, everything, they come back to the family business. Yep, yep. I think also times, sometimes like my family, my family's from Singapore. One of my kids, one of my cousins went to MIT. Ooh, God on me. But he went back, but, but Singapore paid for it, you know, mm -hmm. paid for the schooling. Because here he has lots of employees, this, that, and those things. And yeah, you he need it in the country, yes. Uh, so they, they can't survive. Right. There it's a uh, labor is cheap, so you have lots of uh, people to do things for yourself. Yes. So, so they don't stick around. So he wants to be a businessman. What did, what kind of business do you think he likes so yeah, far? Yeah, I asked him, he said, whatever is in demand that time, I do that. I think there's another one here. Look. I think there's two here. You always have twins. <laughs> right, you see that? You see this thing right here? And there's twins here. I need to get stuck in this little hole. All right, let me squeeze them. He's open so he won't splatter us. She's again asking all these are harmless and regular ones. Yes, they're all harmless. I mean, if they were harmful, I don't think you would have so many and be and be healthy. I think there's a third in there. There's a third one there. 
So it's like the older generation, when I was a kid, everybody wants their kids to be a doctor or a lawyer. And now they want them to be businessmen. Because my father was a businessman. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, honestly, it's harder, I think. Doctor and a lawyer, too. I think a lawyer is very hard to... I know a lot of lawyers are not happy. Our father employs 5,120 Oh my goodness, sorry. So I guess your son is going to be running the business later, I think, too. No, that's actually a uh, tough business, the government contracts predominantly. What kind of government contracts? See, the uh, yeah. Indian government uh, gives uh, eggs for the, all the children daily. Eggs e to give nutrition. So, uh, oh, okay. So nutrition. Eggs are one of the cheapest nutrition available, right? Right. So... Uh, is there something he, else, girls? Yes. He yes. supplies them. Oh, I see. And then they give uh, extra nutritious meal, uh, fortified nu nutrifications. And that's helpful, the, the protein and everything yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. For, so for kids. Kids between 0 to 6 years age, adolescent women, pregnant mothers, lactating mothers. Look, wait, wait, wait. See, did you see that? There's like a, it's like an egg. Like you're laying an egg, but I can't get it up there. Come on up. Look at that. Another little egg. Now does it feel flat, finally. Aha, it does. That one was a hard one. There's a lot of little ones in there. I guess today was the most... Yeah, this is actually going to be the most. The first day... We were Why is that? But those are all big, big ones, easy to like, see. I guess, just yeah. Now these ones are these more are all elusive. Subtle, yeah, these are all subtle and. Uh, Let me see if there's a place cheating. here. Let's see. Let me dive in. Thank you. Buzzing sound. Yeah, I feel feel. I feel flat. Does it feel pretty flat? Yeah, it does definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are all cheaters. The cheaters? Ah, because yes. They try they thought they were getting away with it. They thought they were going back to India with you. <laughs> but they weren't. The cheaters, the hiders. What was I gonna tell you guys about? I wanna see something about the story there. So what do you guys think Christine is doing right now? Like sitting at home eating some chips? I feel like she could be. We have one girl who, who's not working with us now, but she has like a month break or something. Oh. She's probably eating chips. These are the cheaters. We're calling these the cheaters. This is, uh, this is Pilar cheat day, we call it. So what has your favorite meal been so far here then? Did you go to fancy places or mainly like some of the good places that, you know, no, 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 that you're known for here? No, 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 we are not. Uh, not picky? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes being picky is not so easy and also it doesn't always taste as good as the stuff that's bad for you. You don't, you can eat junk food, right? You're not super yeah. healthy or, do you, are you vegan or anything like that? No, no, no. no. But, uh, Beautiful treasure hunt, uh, small, small villages, uh, beautiful, I mean, uh, very beautiful as well as uh, mm. tasteful food to be found. Oh, good. Very, very. Yes, so surprisingly, like yeah, little spaces yeah. that you find you discover. Yes, yes. Yeah. So they went to that place. You know, remember I was telling you guys about that place where everything's like crooked? Oh, uh huh. It's so like you go, and I, I've seen the videos of people where they will to go and they'll, they'll roll a ball, and it looks like it, ro it rolls uphill, literally. Uh -huh. Yeah, we will that. That happens, See, but... even that man said, uh, balls, we were cheating you because we have some water. So let me show with water. Yeah. So if you put water, water went up in. Isn't that crazy? You have to see those videos. That's crazy. Did you guys take a video that you have to show us? Uh, we were, but uh, it, uh, oh. unfortunately it was not because it crowded, so I was not able to take it properly. Oh. YouTube videos were better than what I took. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. COVID, darn COVID. And she's asking them, uh, 
Uh, would the lesser hair growth uh, be the reason of cysts? Cysts may affect the hair growth, is it so? What was that? They, do they affect what? The hair growth. Um, uh, n n no, they, they, um, cysts, pilar cysts, hmm. are, are, interestingly, they grow more superficial, I think, on the skin, and for, that's how, like, I feel like, I realize that's how we know the difference. Like, you know, when we see a light poem under there, it's still underneath the hair. But like pilot cysts, oftentimes when they grow big enough, then they there's no hair above it, so it can push and and kill like you know it can stretch the skin, so there's less hair atop it, but it doesn't, or it can make the hair on top of it kind of kinky because they're twisted like curly, because it's pushing on the I think the the area where the hair cells are formed, you know where the hair hair is formed, mm -hmm. so it makes it come up bumpy, but it 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 shouldn't. No, no, other than the fact that if it stretches your scalp out a lot, maybe you have less hair in that area because it's stretched, you know, that area of skin, where there's a, only, like, say there's 50 hairs in an area, but now that that skin is stretched, there's still 50 hairs, but this area is wide. Surprise! It's me, Dr. Pimple Popper. It has always been a dream of mine to start a skincare line, and it's really been you, my YouTube audience, who have turned this dream into a reality. When I started SLMD Skincare, I had one goal in mind, and that was to really bridge this gap between a trip to the dermatologist's office and a trip down that cluttered, confusing skincare aisle. I want to democratize dermatology and bring dermatology to you. Not just the education and advice about the most common skin conditions and treatments, but more importantly, the products, the solutions, and skincare routines that I know as a dermatologist are effective and that I can be confident will help you to manage your skin conditions. So if you struggle with things like facial acne, body acne, keratosis pilaris, dry skin, or eczema, just head over to slmdskincare.com and hopefully there's gonna be some products and solutions or information that can help. And again, don't forget, none of this would be possible without you, my YouTube audience. So please keep your feedback coming about my videos and my skincare line, SLMD Skincare, in the comments below.